guys, it is Max Imagination here. If you're new to my channel, I basically make DIY videos and how-to videos. This time I'm going to make a three-wheeler cardboard DC motorized car. And if you want to know how to make it, let's get right to the video. You will need three toy car wheels, a DC motor and a gearbox on one, four bottle caps, two of them will go in two of these wheels, the inner part, and one will go underneath the cardboard seat, and this is for the steering wheel. Not an off switch, a battery holder, and a couple of AA batteries. This is a little axle thingy for one of the wheels, the back wheels. Just any type of gear, any size would do. A lollipop stick, a popsicle stick, a little piece of rolled up cardboard that is glued, and a skewer. And now for the cardboard parts. We have the back, the bonnet, this is the very bottom, basically the base of her car, this is the very front of it, these two pieces will go on the side, basically holding the axle of the front wheels in place. This is the visor, which will go on top of the bonnet. And this is one of the seats, we'll have two of them. And this piece will go right here in the middle. And also, you can use a sharpie marker. And a hot glue gun. So first, you're going to glue the front part onto the base of your three-wheeler. Then you're going to cut out a small rectangle for the switch. Then you're going to glue these two side pieces on that hold the axle in place. Then you're going to cut off a couple of centimeters of this lollipop stick off. And you're going to do it again. So you have these two pieces. Once it's placed in, you're going to glue the gearbox in place so that it doesn't reel around or fall off. Now you're going to glue the bottle caps on the inner part of the wheel, these two front wheels. Using a soldering iron or something very sharp, you're going to poke a hole in each of these wheels. You're going to break off two centimeters of skewer and you're going to place it in the wheel just like that and you're going to glue it. Now you're going to need one of your battery packs, the two AA batteries in it and a switch and also some extra piece of wire. Now you're going to wire the negative end to the positive end on the switch, basically one of the ends and you're going to wire another wire to the positive end of your DC motor and then you're going to do the same with the black, just hook it up to the negative end of the DC motor. Then glue your battery pack in place and also glue this uh, popsicle stick with a hole in it. You're going to take a gear and your back wheel, rear wheel, and you're going to put a bit of glue on it and also glue this gear on. Now you're going to attach your wheel using this little steel pin and also make sure that it can spin. Next, you're going to attach your front wheels to the front axle, just like this. Sorry if I didn't mention, you will need one more battery pack with the two AA batteries in it for extra power. You're going to wire it up the same exact way we've done with the other wires. So once that's on, we're going to take this little piece of cardboard we're going to make sure all the wires are together, just glue the wires together, and then glue this little cardboard piece on. Oh yeah, and we're also going to glue the bonnet in place. Then you're going to glue the back of it on. Now 
Now we'll add a couple of seats. The first one will go at the front with the bottle cap, which is glued in place. And the second one will go at the very top, on top of the battery pack. Then you're going to glue your windshield onto the front. A little piece of rolled up cardboard in a slanted way. And also glue your bottle cap on, basically that's the steering wheel. And now we're done with a three-wheeler vehicle. guys that is all for this video and if you all enjoyed it be sure to hit the like button comment down below and subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't yet thanks for watching guys see you next week peace wow that was fast